Oscars Club expresses gratitude to all these members and to these gracious ladies for contributing both time and talent. So, we hope that you will laugh with us at Acting of a Bygone Day. Applaud the hero tried and true and hiss the villain of our play. future father-in-law. My felicitations. But hold. Where is the bride to be? Shh. Not so long. It's still a secret. Little does her father suspect that I'm but a penniless adventurer. <laughs> but once married to the proud Mary, he will not dare denounce. Mr. Nathaniel Sweet and Sir Mortimer de Lacy. The presence of this man chills the very marrow in my bones. father promised to better my position. Oh, Richard, I do but weep with joy. And so, my friends, I have invited you here tonight to help me share a great happiness. My daughter's hand has been sought in marriage by an estimable and noble gentleman, one whom I shall be proud to welcome to the bosom of my family. I speak of none other. Stop! I love Richard True, and I will be his bride. Curse it! I command you to leave this man's side. That I will not. Then, sir, you are no longer in my employ. Go! Be it so. If your doors are closed against him, they shall be closed against me. I am his wife in the sight of heaven, and I will be his wife before the world! Come, Richard. I have dragged you down to this. To think my father could prove so heartless. Then you have heard from him. Only this morning, he now offers forgiveness and shelter. At last, at last. Provided I return alone. Alone. 
Though it breaks my heart, my manhood will not permit me to ask her to longer suffer the pangs of poverty. Mary, you must return to your father. And leave you here alone? No, no. I cannot desert you in your hour of need. You have given me new courage. I will try again. A true man never admits defeat. My true and loyal husband, I know you will not fail. with distress. Allow me to assist you. Friend, an unfamiliar word in times like these. Nay, comrade. We are all but brothers under the skin. Aha! So this is where they live. A man who robbed me of the daughter of a millionaire. But vengeance has been mine without the raising of even so much as a finger. But I shall not rest until I see them both wallowing in the mire. What's this? A letter to a husband. This letter tells me the wife has gone to a hospital without her husband's knowledge and that he may visit her frequently. He doesn't know she's there and may think she's returned to her father. Good. He shall never see this letter. <laughs> Pass it. Trapped like a rat in a trap. But no, not some lot of adulation. Welcome to my humble abode. My wife will be pleased to see you. Mary! 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 Gone! You mean? My sorrow is more than I can bear. This morning my wife received a letter from her father. She has gone to him. There is only one thing left for me. What are you about to do? End a life that has become a burden. Stop! This man may become useful to me. Unlucky in love, lucky at cards. I'll toss a coin. Tails, you carry out your desperate plan. Heads, you join with me. Heads, we leave for Australia in the morning. Meantime, I'll show you some of the mysteries of this wicked city. I will welcome anything to help me to oblivion. Fair enough. And I, my friend, will do my best to send you there. <laughs> Gentlemen, there are fingers in the house. We are closing up. Oh, good luck, Al. Good night, Al. Good night, good night. Good night. Be patient, my friend. Watch Spanish Al. Well, everything is all right, boss. in my life. You go, my friend. While I stay here with my sad... I won't be long. Poor oh, fellow. I must drive these thoughts away. Sorry for you. I want no pity from the likes of you. It is I who need your sympathy. You won. Will you not shake hands? 
Do I look upon the hand of a friend? You do. Friendship is the one true passion. Love. <laughs> oh, my wife has left me. My brain is on fire. I am mad. He is asleep. A drunken sleep. Me vengeance is ashore. There's a swell in there with a fortune in his wallet. I've got the key to the door behind him. I'll collar the lad, and if he hollers, let him have it. Aye. In a few hours, with my help, he will be far at sea, and I shall be left alone here with a woman he loves. Dame Fortune smiles on me tonight. Ah! <laughs> Someone call? What seems to be amiss? A crime has been committed. There stands the guilty man. I know nothing of this. Look, the knife is at his feet. I swear I am innocent. But the evidence convicts you. I am a stranger and alone. Who will speak for me? He will. I do not remember. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! <laughs> Fair face for once more. Ah. 197, you seem upset. Permit me to get you a cup of tea. Thank you, Warden. Hey, 97, are you ready? Any time now. I hate to break my word, but I must find Sweet. He alone can prove my innocence. The way is clear? Yes, hurry! Farewell, cool walls. Farewell! Well, I hope they miss. Oh, if I could only remember to find out who I am. Someday your memory will return to you. You seem to be in trouble. Can I help you? My husband's in danger, and I must find him. I'm familiar here. Come with me. Let me get you a glass of water. Ha-ha! At last, me proud beauty, I have you in me power. You harm a defenseless woman? No. But what I want, I take. <laughs> What's the matter? Where are you going here? Come <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
You didn't keep your word. But, Warden, I can explain everything. Ah, uh, but you must come with me. But, Warden... Officer, this man looks suspicious, so I thought... Ah. Why, my memory is returning. Now I remember you. Tassus, the jig is up. Tassus. And there goes the man I robbed five years ago. Ninety-seven, I grant you a full pardon, and I apologize to you. Very considerate. Good evening. Ah, not so fast. Sir Mortimer de Lacy, alias English Harry. I arrest you for forgery. Richard! Mary! 